Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Thortography on YouTube. I'm so glad that you found this video and this channel. Um, I wanted to start just by uh, giving a little plug for uh, the group All Music is Powered. Uh, it was an organization started by uh, Donnie Brown and Andy Reid, and its goal is to create an interactive musical concert series that reaches kindergartners through uh, secondary uh, age students who uh, have special education needs right in the Great Lakes Bay area. So there's a link below, go check it out, see the work that they're doing and uh, get involved in that if that's something that you're interested in. It's really fantastic what uh, they're able to communicate through music uh, with these kids and uh, I really encourage you to go check it out. Well, today we are uh, going to be talking a little bit about perspective and um, the perspective that you see uh, objects in and um, the way that you're able to observe different uh, angles and things like that. So I'm going to give a little bit of a demonstration today. I'll be using a Fuji X-T2 with a, a 23 millimeter lens. That's a 35 millimeter equivalent uh, field of view, which uh, we can talk about another time. But anyway, the idea is to take a single subject and to look at it from uh, different angles so that um, when you visualize the world and visualize your environment, you can think about what it might look like uh, looking from the right or left or above or down below. Um, and so uh, we'll give a little demonstration here and uh, then come back and, and talk just for a minute more. So stay tuned. Let's go. So for this particular demonstration, you'll notice the window light is going to be uh, over in that side room and we'll see the crib with our volunteer over here, Mr. Elliot. Um, he said that he was willing to participate at least a little bit. So let's see how he does. Um, when I talk about perspective, um, it's the way or angle that uh, you position yourself to look at the subject. So in this case, um, I'm gonna come right above the little guy. Oh, aren't you happy? So I can get a shot up high, shooting above him. Oh yeah, what do you see? And I might come up even higher than that, uh, recompose. Um, I am using a, a electronic shutter, so that's why you don't hear a clicking sound. Um, but anyway, so I can come up from high and then I can change my perspective so I can get a view, different view if I come down low. Maybe shoot these bars. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Um, I'm keeping that window light at my back right now. Um, I'm getting in my own way sometimes. We can take a different view, angle, then shoot down, down low, all creating sort of a different, um, different look. But, um, maybe get a view this way. But, you see, I'm just moving around, uh, my little guy. In each case, getting a different, different view or different perspective. You know, obviously I'm using a kid for this example, but you can um, use any kind of object uh, that you might have close at home. Um, and, uh, you know, just play around with um, setting up a sh object and uh, photographing that object from different angles. You know, see how See how things look different when you uh, move around a little bit or step back. Um, you can make some changes to your shots, um, you know, wherever you are. So let's go. This is why I like that screen on this Fuji X-T2. Go real high. Get some shots up high. I might turn, change my composition. It's still looking high here all right um so hopefully that gives you some idea of how when you move around your subject oh aren't you just so happy uh when you move around your subject you can um get different views uh that things look different at different angles which seems real obvious but um uh, when you are moving around your subject or whatever you're photographing Oh, aren't you happy? Yes. When you're moving around your subject, um, you can sort of imagine what it's going to be like from a different angle. Um, I tend to like this view pretty good. 
Yeah, I like this view. Hi. Oh yes, yes. But um, anyway, give it some, give it, give it a try. And uh, if you have questions, let me know, and I'd be happy to help you out and uh, give you some pointers. Um, but it's a good exercise to just do maybe with a, a still object first rather than a, a moving object. Although this guy's not moving too much. Well, if, I hope that little demonstration was helpful for you to start thinking about uh, your environment and how you view objects um, from different angles and perspectives and the way that uh, you position yourself can change the way that an object looks or a subject looks. Um, I'd encourage you to uh, go and find an object and just uh, explore the way that a single object or subject looks um, uh, from those different perspectives, whether you're looking at it from the top or from the either side or down low at a low angle. And hopefully that'll help sort of start to train your brain to think about uh, the world in multiple uh, dimensions. Hopefully this was helpful for you. Um, if it was, then subscribe and I'll hopefully bring you more uh, material. Invite a friend and I'll look forward to uh, the next, next time we can meet. Thanks.